How's it going guys? Today I'm going to talk about accountability and most importantly holding yourself accountable for things that you need to do. So this week has been uh, pretty rough as far as college goes. I've uh, missed a class which uh, I, I just kind of blew off because attendance isn't graded but I should have gone even though I missed I missed the bus to get to class, so I just said, you know, I won't go. Who cares? I can just check stuff online. Uh, I checked the things that were online, and it did not help at all. So I should have gone to class. And uh, I put off a paper for, like, oh, I put it off all the way until the last day. And it was like 2,000 words, which isn't super long, but it was still just a lot of work to do in one or two sittings. And then also, I put off checking out equipment for uh, some pro a project I have to do. We have to shoot a scene. I put off checking out equipment that I need to get from the school, and I was too late and they were closed. So, this week has really gotten me thinking about holding myself accountable. And also, I, I didn't upload anything yesterday on Friday, and today it's one o'clock when I'm recording this, and I usually like to get things up by 10 a.m. So, I've just been really lazy recently and I kind of got myself into, I got myself going back to the gym and I've been running every morning. So I've been holding myself accountable as far as health goes and keeping myself healthy, but I've not been accountable in things. I'm not gonna say in things that matter because being healthy does matter, but I need to do a better job at holding myself accountable for everything. Throughout the years, I've learned that holding yourself accountable is one of the best things that you can do for yourself. When I first started going to the gym, I always relied on going with my friend. Uh, I kind of told the story the other day, but my friend, my freshman year, him and I, he, he, he got me going to the gym. He was the reason why I started going to the gym and why I lost all the weight I did. And anytime he didn't want to go to the gym, I wouldn't go. Which is okay. It's okay to have a buddy to hold each other accountable. But you should not use someone else as an excuse to not do something yourself. You need to learn to be accountable and hold yourself up to do things that you that you say you'll do. I've been really lazy on homework. I've been really lazy on school in general. Like I, I've kind of, just because this year has been online so far, I'm only three weeks in and I've just kind of been blowing it off a bit. And I need to... I need to get myself back on track and I need to actually like sit down and do the work that I need to do. And something that I found that really helps when it comes to doing work is that the hardest part of doing anything is just sitting down and starting it. So if you can commit to yourself, okay, at noon, I'm gonna sit down and write this paper for 15 minutes. That's all you have to do. Set a timer, 15 minutes, sit down and write your paper. What you find that does is it actually gets you sitting down and writing because you may you set this goal of writing for 15 minutes and once that timer goes off you usually find that you're actually in such a good flow. You know it's the whole like inertia thing like a, a object in motion stays in motion. Once you're sitting down writing you find that after the 15 minutes unless if you're just really having a bad time and you don't care you usually don't stop. You continue going on because you're already doing it. So that's something that I've found for myself is really, really useful when it comes to holding myself accountable. Another thing that I've found is all it takes is one second of commitment to start something. And once you start it, you'll get going. Because again, the hardest part of doing anything is starting it. So if, like every morning when I go for my runs, I, I, don't, I don't like waking up and going for the runs. But I just tell myself, I just need to get outside and do it. And it takes 10 seconds of sticking to that goal of going outside and starting my run until I'm actually on my run. And once I'm running, I don't stop because I'm committed to going all the way through my run. So that's something that I've just felt that I, I need to hold myself to more. I, I've been kind of lazy with YouTube. I've been lazy with school. It's just kind of easy to put things off to the side and ignore them until the time comes when things are things need to be done. And when you find yourself in a situation where you procrastinate everything and then you you come between this thing and a time crunch and you've got and say you've got 2 hours to do a whole assignment that you've supposed to have been working on all week 
then you find that you're really putting yourself in a shitty situation and you find yourself you find yourself kind of hating what you're doing and that's never what you want to be you always want to be happy with what you're doing you always want to feel like there's a purpose behind what you're doing and i've always found that whenever i have a time crunch on something it's always less likely that i that i enjoy what i'm doing for example this paper that i had to write for my class i actually kind of enjoyed i enjoy what we're writing about what we're writing about is really easy for some reason the class is taking this whole different angle to where the content of the paper does not matter what matters is that you're putting in the work so the paper for us could it was just a personal experience essay we could literally write about anything we could make it any kind of like form factor or any kind of layout we wanted it didn't have to follow standard like mla or anything like that and we could just we didn't have to look up statistics we didn't have to get quotes to back ourselves really easy essay and it was only 2,000 words that only comes out to be about six or seven pages so it was really easy to write it. it it wasn't something i didn't care about that i was writing about yet i still found that i did not enjoy writing the paper because i had put this time crunch on myself for putting it off for so long it wasn't until thursday that i started it and it was due friday so it's important that you just look into the future and you keep a, keep in mind what you need to do and you hold yourself accountable for all the things that you have coming up and that you know you have to do. That way you don't put stress on yourself and you also don't put stress on other people that you may be working with. For example, I said I missed checking stuff out. I have a group project that I have to do. We have to record a five minute scene because I'm in the media school. So we have to record this five minute scene and I'm the camera person and I tried to check out camera equipment but I, I, did, I was too late. The checkout was closed for the weekend and we have to shoot this weekend. Luckily, I have a camera to use of my own and we can use that, but I did not hold myself to the standard I need to hold myself to and I'm letting my whole group down. And that's probably the worst feeling you can have is it's one thing to disappoint yourself, but to disappoint a whole group of people is really it's really it really it's really taxing for someone. Anyways, I just wanted to keep this one nice and short. I just wanted to get something out there because I feel like I've been slacking a bit on YouTube. Not saying that I don't care about this video or the message that it has, but I've got other things to do. And I need to hold myself accountable for those things we need to meet to shoot soon. I need to do a little bit of research on some things. So yeah, I, I hope this video helps anybody out that's watching it. Maybe since you're starting college as well, if you're in college or you're starting school, if you're still in school, you see this and you realize you look at yourself and you think i i've kind of been putting stuff off because classes are just online but anyways that's a nice and short one for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did um you know don't you don't even have to drop a like or anything just enjoy the rest of your day see you later